Hey everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery Wisdom Teeth and Denture Implant Center. And congratulations if you're thinking about doing the all on four. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people might have questions about timing, right? From initial surgery to when you're in your final prosthesis. So I created a little uh, PowerPoint here to kind of go over the timeline and what to expect over the first like, you know, six months. All right, here we go. Okay, so all on four timeline. All right, so we break this down into several steps. The pre-surgical assessment, you've already made the decision. Um, what do we need to do to go over um, before we start your surgery? Number two is gonna be your surgery. Number three, any follow-up appointments. Number four, your final fitting. And five, when you're all done in your final zirconia prosthesis and um, your cleaning schedules. So pre-surgical assessment, you decided to, you want to proceed. We will take necessary jaw records, photos, um, you tell us how white you want your teeth to be, uh, what shape you want your teeth to be, um, basically all the little intricacies of what you want your smile to be. Now keep in mind, this is a temporary prosthesis, but we still want you to be happy about what you're going to look like um, on day one. Um, also at this time, we're going to review your medical health history. We already do that at the original consultation too. but. Um, and this can be overlapping with your original consultation. Patients come in, they have a consultation, and they decide they want to go ahead with it. Um, sometimes we can do all these same things, uh, the jaw records, photos, all these little details on that same day. Sometimes we actually um, need to actually make another appointment. Um, at that same time, um, what we're going to do is also we're going to view any medical health history. If you have any issues with your health, um, we'll get any necessary medical consultations we need with your physicians. Um, also, because you will require IV sedation for your procedure, we'll go over any little details that you need to do to prepare for your surgery. Also, making sure, um, you know, again, um, you stay what we call NPO, nothing to eat or drink after midnight the night before, um, how to dress, don't wear your makeup, etc. Um, day of your surgery, so obviously we're going to sedate you, we're going to take out the necessary teeth and recontour your bone. Um, if you've already been missing your teeth and you're already in a denture, then we'll take out, I mean, we'll uh, just recontour your bone. Um, we'll place your dental implants and also we will uh, convert your prosthesis to wear home that day. So what that looks like is, um, you know, what I just explained, we'll place your dental implants, recontour your bone, and then we'll convert your prosthesis so that it screws in that day. Um, so that'll look exactly like this. Now keep in mind that your initial um, converter prosthesis, your temporary, it, it, it is a temporary. Um, I talk about this in other videos, but you know, sometimes other providers can do a acrylic um, temporary converter, you know, that's typically about um, 12 to $15,000, um, but that would be your temporary there. Um, you're pretty much gonna be done there at that point, except for any follow-up appointments. Um, would highly not recommend you go that route because your acrylic temporary is going to stain and break and teeth break off and all these issues are going to develop. Um, so like I mentioned in other videos, that's a bait and switch. So um, I would highly recommend you not go that route. All right, so um, post-op appointments. So we see you at one week. We just want to make sure how you're healing, um, answer any questions that you might have. Obviously, if you have any questions before then, give us a call um, and we'll bring you in even, even sooner. Um, we then bring you back at the one month mark. Um, we actually will unscrew your prosthesis. So what does, does that look like? So your prosthesis right here is actually screwed in. You see those little holes. Now we will fill up those holes. You're not just going to have holes there, but um, you have little screw holes covering your prosthesis. Um, but we will unscrew this prosthesis from your dental implants, the multi-unit abutments. We'll take that off. We'll clean that for you. Um, we will get underneath there, remove any sutures that are still there. We will place some dissolvable stitches. Sometimes we uh, sutures. Sometimes we need to place uh, non-dissolvable stitches, but then we will remove those, clean your prosthesis, clean around the multi-unit abutments because we want to make sure that's a low bacterial environment so you don't have any issues with your implants. We will also take x-rays at this appointment to ensure that you're healing properly um, and your implants are doing well. Uh, we then follow up again two months later at the three-month mark, and that the three-month mark is from the, the day of the surgery. Uh, we will again, same thing, ensure proper healing, take out the prosthesis, take x-rays, make sure your implants are doing well. Uh, final follow-up appointment is at the four-month mark. We'll take the x-rays. Um, if the implants are in good condition, we set you up for your final impressions and begin process the process for the final prosthesis. Now, some patients might ask me, like, well, why are you waiting that long? Well, when we're placing dental implants, there's something called osseointegration that we need to make sure that your dental implants are healing properly with your bone, okay? And so we can't do that final impression um, two months from now. That would just be 
not wise because you could develop issues with your implants later on down the road. So while we wait at least three months for your lower jaw and four months for your upper jaw bone because of different porosities and stability, your, your bone is just way more dense down here on your mandible. So um, we, we need to at least wait that period of time, three months again down here for the mandible, four months for your maxilla um, for the, your implants to also integrate. Now, on top of that too, um, when we recontour your bone and anytime you have a surgery like that, your bone and your gums are gonna remodel and uh, recontour itself. And what that essentially is, is uh, imagine you have foot surgery. Your foot's gonna be really swollen. Your foot's gonna change shape over the next few months and then swelling and then it's not gonna be so swollen anymore. Um, you don't want to get a custom made orthotic if your foot is swollen, right? So same thing is that with your surgery, when your bone and gum are remodeling itself and recontouring itself over four to five months, we need to really make sure that your um, prosthesis is gonna is gonna fit. So we we're gonna we're gonna wait those you know four to five months for your um, at least four months to make sure that your bone and gum has stopped really changing shape before we fit you for your final prosthesis. So that's the final follow up appointment, and then we set you up for your final impressions and begin the um, process for your final prosthesis. All right. So the final fitting, your implants have healed properly and are stable. We'll do a final filling, a fitting of your bone and gums and take into account any shade preference of your gums and teeth as well as the shape of your teeth and what you want them to look like. Um, and your final prosthesis will be made of monolithic zirconia, the most resilient and aesthetic prosthesis. Um, and I made another video talking about um, all on four materials and so we go, I would highly recommend you look at that video to make sure that you choose the right prosthesis. Um, I would highly recommend zirconia. Um, and we don't even offer the other acrylic options because for, as a final solution because it's just um, patients aren't happy with it in the long run. They start to develop other complications. So um, I wanted to address um, one thing in regards to final shape, color, you know, what you want your teeth to look like. Um, some people, most people love what they have originally from the, the temporary acrylic prosthesis, so they just want the same. Some people might say, hey, you know what, my teeth were too white, so let's bring it down in shade, or um, I, they weren't white enough. So there's all these little intricacies and differences that whatever you want customized, the beautiful thing about that is that you still have up until your, um, your final appointment um, where we're customizing your final prosthesis. Bef um, before which you can make all any adjustments again to shape and color and how you want your prosthesis to look. Um, and finally, after you are in your final prosthesis, we recommend cleanings every six to 12 months for a zirconia prosthesis. Uh, and if you have an acrylic uh, or a temporary or acrylic titanium hybrid, we recommend every six months. Zirconia can get less cleanings um, because the, the, the nature of the material and how smooth it is and how highly polished and how it just doesn't want to attract bacteria. So um, acrylic, unfortunately, doesn't have those um, benefits. So you, it would be highly recommended that you get cleans more often for that. So hopefully I found, I hope that you guys found this information helpful. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and uh, leave any comments that you may have below. Thank you.